Hi, this is Kathy Black with Lake Havasu City Fire Department, and I would like to inform our community of Fire Prevention Week. This year it is October 6th through October 12th, and our theme this year is Prevent Kitchen Fires. There's many things we can do in our home to prevent a kitchen fire. Uh, some of those is, one, staying in the kitchen when we're cooking. Don't go off to go work on that computer, watch a TV program, or even go in another room and talk on the phone. It's very important that you stay in the kitchen. It does not take a large amount of time for a kitchen fire to occur. And when it's unsupervised, that is when it can get really big and uh, completely out of hand. Some of the things when you're cooking, the, the kitchen stove top is so important. This is where you should have nothing around or near the top of the stove top while you're cooking, except for the pans that are on the stove itself. Lots of times we get so busy, we're not thinking about what we're doing. Uh, dish towels, paper towels, any combustibles should be away from the surface of the stove top. Utensils, the same thing. The, they are plastic. Um, they will burn. They will melt. Keep them a good distance away from the stove top. When you're cooking, one of the things is many of the older stoves have the back shelf on them. This is really not a good place for you to store your salt and pepper or your spices because if you think about it, you're reaching over what you're cooking to get to the spices. Keep those put away up in a cabinet, off to the side of the stove top. Again, you don't want to reach over. A lot of times spices are kept up above the stove. Um, you're still reaching over what you're cooking, so be aware of that. When you are cooking, keep the pan lid close by. This is the best way to put out a pan fire on top of the stove. Take your lid, slide it on to the pan, turn off the heat, and leave that pan alone until it cools down. Many times people think water's gonna put out the fire, but when you throw water onto a grease fire, it expands the grease, it actually causes it to explode, and it will shoot flames to the ceiling, start a kitchen fire that way. Don't try to carry that pan of hot grease. You may trip and spill it, it will spread the fire to your counters, or worse yet, down the front of you. Put a lid on it, turn off the heat, and let that pan cool down. Try to get in the habit of cooking with that pan lid. I know it's not always easy to stay in the kitchen when you're cooking. There's other things you have to do. Maybe go to the laundry room, swap out the laundry. But if you do need to leave the kitchen for any reason, take something with you. I know it looks a little weird walking around with a spatula through the house. That spatula is going to be your reminder that you have something cooking on the stove. I have done that many years ago, walked out, left some eggs boiling, and came back to a mess in my kitchen because all the water boiled up dry and my eggs exploded and I had a mess to clean up. A spatula would have reminded me I've got something on that stove top. Throw the dishcloth across the shoulder. It, again, it works the same purpose as the spatula. You've got something as a reminder to get back into that kitchen. If you do have an oven fire, leave the door closed, turn off the heat. And what happens with this is the same principle as the pan lid. You're taking oxygen away from the fire, the fire will go out. Same with a microwave. If a fire occurs in your microwave, leave the door closed, turn it off, and please call the fire department. Let us come out. Let them check to make sure that the heat has not extended to the walls of where your um, oven might be or your microwave is encased in the, the woodwork of your kitchen. Have them come out and check it out. Make sure that the heat's not extended to the wood of your kitchen. Another good suggestion is a kid-free zone. Keep a zone around three feet from the kitchen area where the kids are not, where the children cannot come in and be under your feet. The worst thing would be lifting up something hot, moving it to the sink and stumbling over the children or even your pets. 
Many people do forget that pets get under your feet. So keep that safe zone in your kitchen. We also suggest having a portable fire extinguisher in your kitchen. You can purchase these at the hardware stores. Um, usually the ones that we suggest are the 2A, 10BC. The A is for normal combustibles, such as paper, wood. Uh, the B is for the grease fires, and the C is for the electrical, live electrical fires. So have one of those handy. I know, ladies, they don't go with our decor, but they can put out that small fire instead of having a big kitchen fire. Unplugging appliances is another step that we can take to help prevent those kitchen fires. When you're not using your small appliances, unplug them. Fires have started by appliances just simply being plugged in. The appliance shorts out and the fire starts there. So unplug those small kitchen appliances and keep them unplugged until you're ready to use them again. Please remember, you can prevent kitchen fires just by taking a few simple little steps. Thank you.